Good morning. It's June 3rd. Um, we're just coming out of the energy of the new moon in Gemini, you know, the times of communication and fun. Um, I hope you've been reading things. I hope you've been setting intentions. Mercury has gone in, has gone direct. So I think it's time to really focus on your intentions and speak your, your world. Um, bring it life, basically. Use your words wisely. I know Mercury often causes chaos. Um, I was laying down yesterday um, and I have four cats and um, two of them when my dad passed, I, I uh, inherited them. And I was laying down and the little kitten, he's, he's a heavy fellow, and I startled him and he ran across my fucking face and my nose, I don't know if you can see, but it's bruised and he just like, he went here and he cut my nose and cut here. So I'll be glad when, uh, that was after the other day when I burnt myself with uh, hot water from cooking supper. So needless to say, I'll be glad when Mercury goes um, completely direct. We are going to be in the moon in Cancer. Um, take some time to find love. Um, enjoy time with those that you love. Take care of yourself. Take care of others. <clears throat> Be mindful of your spiritual practices um, and set some time for serious tasks. It could be time to, for cleaning out um, clutter. Um, that's one thing I'm working on um, to make room for new. So I hope this reading helps. I'm, I've picked some different cards. I have Alice in Wonderland who I, I just kind of love that deck. I have the, it's this one. I thought I'd bring out my Villains Tarot deck. It's kind of a fun, oh it's dark, sorry. Um, it's kind of a fun, different change on um, tarot. And the uh, Moonology Manifestation. I figure if it's the time to speak our existence or our world into being, Manifestation cards will help. Again, I am, I got a fucking mosquito flying around. Um, I am an Aquarius, so these readings may resonate more with Aquarians, um, air signs, but I just do general readings, so take what resonates. Um, let's go. Does Alice have to say? What does Alice have to say? Thank you. Thank you. And anything else? Set your course. Know where you want to go. Have a plan. The right decision. Great card, especially now as we're just finishing the new moon. You know, speak your world into existence. Speak it, let it go. Speak it, let it go. Don't hold on to the outcome. Follow your own good advice. Trust yourself. You know what's best for you. That's one thing I have to work on. I'm good at giving other people advice, but I don't tend to follow my own advice sometimes. Belong to your own dream. Create your own life. Create cards. Speak that into existence lead the way. If you follow me on Instagram, I literally just got this um, as the card of the day. Um, it's all about speaking your truth to help others. Alice here is the one that has kind of created the chaos in Wonderland, but she helps them find their way out. So it talks about, oops, sorry, it talks about taking a lead. I feel like this reading is going to be about coming into your own power, but see. I've got three, so I'm going to read those. 
Coins, two of coins. That's Earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Two of coins talks about balance, multitasking. Okay. Take some time to reflect of where you may need more balance in your life. We also had the Queen of Coins come out. That's about being healthy, grounded, both mind and body. It looks like she's having a spa day. Can't. Oh, I just assumed that she was. I don't know. Maybe she's not. But it kind of talks about that. Or it looks like that to me. And the Empress. It's about abundance and nurturing. Okay, so if we go back to what Alice told us about leading the way, setting our goals, belonging to your own dreams, I think this is a good sign that it's a reminder to stay grounded, stay balanced. If you are multitasking things, are there things that come, come off of your plate that you can give to others? That's a great read. It's Earth energy. Oh, three came out quick. Fuck, I wasn't expecting that. Four of Wands. Fire energy. Oh, there comes my cat. It's about celebration. Safety. Okay. We've got the Knight of Cups. Romantic. Following your heart. So if you are in a relationship or just starting a new relationship, this could be a card of celebrating that, but as well maintaining boundaries. Um, if I'm 49, almost 50, uh, we've been through a few relationships, most of us at my age. So you want to be happy in your new relationship, but you know, take some time to re revisit the old. Set that boundary so you feel safe okay the knight of cups you know he's a very romantic charismatic i think that's how you say it person okay and as well we get the world come out okay the world is about new beginnings Okay, so I feel like you're probably going through some new beginnings in the romance department, but I definitely would enjoy it, but come from unconditional love. And I'll pull three more. That's too many. My battery's going. I don't think there's another message coming out. I just think this had to finish it. Two of Cups and the Death card. Okay, I don't feel this is a death of a relationship. Okay, I feel it's a partnership. It's definitely a mutual attraction. It's a water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, if that means anything to you. Some of you are out there starting new loves, whether it's relationship or in careers, and you are having a death moment. And that just that just means the end of something, and it just means change. Definitely a great reading. It, you, you do want to come into your own, as Alice said, speak your world into existence. The Disney's tarots are telling you... Um, Pamper yourself. Set those boundaries. Have a safe space. Speak your truth into existence. I hope this reading helps. Take care.